Welcome to Math with Mr. J. This is part two of an introduction to symmetry. If you missed part one, I dropped that link down in the description, so go and check that out, and then you can come back to part two. If you're ready for part two, you'll remember that we took a look at lines of symmetry within simpler shapes. Now in part two, we're going to take a look at more complex shapes and trying to find lines of symmetry. Now remember, when we're finding lines of symmetry, both halves must match exactly for something to be symmetrical. Not close, not kind of, but perfectly or exactly matched. So let's take a look at number one, where we have an A and an M. We are taking a look at those letters separately, not as one word. So let's look at the A first. And then A does have a line of symmetry going vertical. I'll try to draw my lines as straight as possible. So if we were to fold over that line of symmetry, the A, each side of the A would match perfectly. So that is a line of symmetry and that particular A is symmetrical. Now not all A's are symmetrical. It depends what font, how you write it, uppercase, lowercase, but that one in particular is symmetrical. As far as the M, we can do the same thing. A vertical line of symmetry, cutting this letter in half, and if we folded both those halves, try to picture folding both those halves on top of each other, they would match exactly. Therefore, that's a line of symmetry, and that particular M is symmetrical. Now let's do a counterexample with that M and try to find another line of symmetry. If we were to go horizontal, picture folding both of those sides on, it, on top of each other, and they would not match exactly. Therefore, the horizontal is not a line of symmetry, but we do have the vertical one, so the M is symmetrical. Now number two is the most complex figure um, in this video because look at all the details within that butterfly. All of those have to match as well for the whole figure to be symmetrical. And just like the A and M, we can draw a vertical line of symmetry there. And when we fold both those halves on top of each other, they would match exactly. So number two is symmetrical. Let's see if a horizontal line of symmetry would work as well. And it would not. If you take a look, the details would not match up and the upper wings are larger than the lower wings. Uh, the upper half also has the head of the butterfly. So it wouldn't match exactly when folding over that horizontal line. So let's move on to number three where we have an outline of a sea turtle here and it does have a line of symmetry and it's going to be horizontal here. And you'll notice if we fold over that line of symmetry, both halves match exactly. So we're good to go as far as number three goes. If uh, counter example here, if we were to try to find a line of symmetry here, the left and right half would not match, so the sea turtle only has one line of symmetry, and that's that horizontal line there. So on to number four, where we have a flower in a pot, and this um, shape is actually asymmetrical, so it's not symmetrical. And we can try to put a line of symmetry here vertically, and it's close, but you'll notice the leaves on the sides are not perfectly uh, matched up or little details up top like these leaves here would not match when folded over each other or even this little bend in that leaf um, would make this object not symmetrical or asymmetrical. Now the bottom pot, if we were just looking at that shape, that would be symmetrical with that vertical line. But overall, that shape, not symmetrical. So I hope that helped as far as an introduction to symmetry and helping you better understand which objects, both simple and complex, have a line of symmetry. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.